Page 110. Read. Mystery in the Gym. There's a poster on the wall at school. Surprise guest today at 2 o'clock in the gym. Lisa, who do you think it could be? I think it's an astronaut, says Marco. You don't know who it is, I say. Nobody knows who it is because it's a mystery. Marco blows bubbles into his milk through a straw. I try hard not to laugh. He makes a face at me, and when I'm sure he's looking, I cross my eyes. I read in a magazine that if you close your eyes, you can hear things more clearly. If we close our eyes, maybe we can hear things in the next room, I tell Marco. The gym is next to the lunchroom, so I'm going to listen and find out who this special guest is. I close my eyes. I hear a low, deep, booming sound, but I have no idea what it could be. It sounds like thunder, I tell Marco. Maybe it's a scientific machine for making thunderstorms or something. The mystery guest must be a scientist. I want to listen, Marco says. He closes his eyes and tries to listen too. I hear the sound of a loud trumpet call, Marco tells me with confidence. There is an elephant in the gym. The mystery guest is obviously a circus trainer. A trumpeting elephant is more deafening than that, I tell Marco. I like to use big words like trumpeting and deafening in front of Marco. I listen again. There is a humming, buzzing sound that makes me feel warm right down to my toes. I hear a hum, I exclaim. It sounds like lots of bees. The mystery guest is a beekeeper. No, it isn't, Marco declares. He closes his eyes even tighter. I'm positive this time, he tells me. I hear an enormous hungry cow. The mystery guest is a farmer and his giant cow. What are you talking about? There is no hungry cow noise. Yes, there is, Marco argues. He takes a deep breath and shouts, Moo! Suddenly, the school bell rings, and we both realize that it is already two o'clock. It's time to see the special guest. Marco and I race each other to the gym and look inside the door. Wow, this is so cool, Marco yells. How exciting, I agree, smiling. There is no machine that makes weather. No elephant, no bees, and no hungry cow. We see a man in a long, fancy black jacket holding a thin white baton. All around him are musicians playing timpani drums, bassoons, cellos, trombones, and many more instruments. They're musical instruments, Marco and I say at the same time. The conductor hears us. He turns around and says, Welcome to the orchestra.